Last time on Nancy Drew goes to Thornton Hall. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. You asking if I really went to jail? Yes, I advise against it. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but... I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit, and treating them beyond bad. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked. I broke in, that's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines, that's true too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy did I get knocked down. I'm just trying to fit the pieces together. What does Charlotte have to do with Jesslyn? From what I gather, Jesslyn seems to be cut from the same cloth as Charlotte. You ask me? If someone saw Charlotte as a threat, then Jesslyn's been born behind enemy lines. Just who are you? Harper. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I am a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady. Jess, you're really scaring me. Say something. Now! Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She spoke it to me. What exactly did her ghost say? Get out. I met Harper. Now that would ruin Claire's day. I'm gonna go get her. Harper was there. Nancy, I've got enough to deal with. Stop playing games or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Dunno. The night before I saw her take off into the night holding this little package like it was precious to her. The look on her face. I should have stopped her, said, what is wrong? Jess? Jessalyn? This isn't funny! Where are you? I saw something really strange. I did too. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're getting back at it with the Nancy Doom game. Ghost of Thornton Hall. So right now at this point, I don't exactly remember what to do. Oh, there's that eerie singing again. So I guess I now know what to do. We're going upstairs. And there is another note for Nancy. There once was a ghost who could only write notes. She lived in the walls and loved to float. She stood in the waves when you stepped off your boat. She skipped through graves, and to you she wrote, Push glass vessels and find me in below. Alright. So, these are the bottles that were in the cellar. I sometime before E, but sometime after B. Oh, not first... L is third, E immediately before O. So, let me figure that out. So, obviously I'm guessing that's Harper again. I need to follow the instructions from the note. Oops, wrong note. Alright, this one... So, it's an alphabetical order, okay. I sometime before E, but sometime after B. O, not first. L is third. E, immediately before O. So, B has got to be first. 
Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Wait. I is bef sometime before E. Okay, so no. B's can't, B can't be first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Either B or I is first. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, the I... I was thinking for a moment there, for some reason I was thinking it was saying that the E is sometime after B, but the I is sometime after B. So B has got to be first. It's got to be B, I, L, says L is third. And then E O. B I L E O. Let's see. E I L and then E. We did it. We did it. What was I supposed to think? One day you were just gone. I'd better listen. Lexi. And I hope you understand how much that makes me hate you right now. Who's Lexi? Who is Lexi? I asked that first. Okay. Nothing else? Oh, there it is. Camera! The house. Those photographs. Disturbed dirt. Coffin. Those barrels. It's one of the pillars out front. So there's a. This is where we found the scavenger list. This looks like one of the pictures from Jessalyn's camera. There must be something hidden here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta get a shovel or something. And whatever this creature it was, poor creature. Uh, what's happening? I better get some rest. No offense, but you sound really tired. Been burning the midnight oil at both ends? Feels like it. I must have slept through the day. <sighs> but I still feel exhausted. Maybe you should pace yourself a bit. I know. Wait, hang on. Hang on? Why? Is there a ghost? No, I see something. Uh, call you back later. A flower is a joy when it thrives. A burden when death arrives. Gather your dried petals where immorality resides. Place a flower where she stands before the stone turns to dust. She will tell you what she can, away and back to earn her trust. Use here, wherever here is. Okay, so... We need to get something to dig that up. She's got a picture of a coffin here, but we can't get into the crypt. We got this, so let's check that out, and then check that out, and then we will check out what's behind there. All right. Uh, I need a shovel first. Uh, aha. Let's 
secret passageway. Whoa. Secret passageway to the upstairs where Charlotte's room is. Okay, let's go back here and dig this up. Hmm. 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 Okay, so... Looks like we need a key. Hmm. Or is it not dug up? Hmm. Oh, okay. Alright. So let's go check out that drawing. We could have found a way. I should listen. Lexi, I know you still care about me. I want to see you when this is all over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. Sounds like we got a love triangle going on. Hey. Did you listen in on my call? No. Who is Lexi? <laughs> what are you talking about? The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? I think she is someone important to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiancé is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi... You want a conversation? Fine. I love Lexi. I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. That was based on a lie. Clara, my parents, even Jesselyn. They were all in on it. Jesselyn? Are you sure? She'd have to be. I mean, I haven't considered that she might not be yet. Before Jess and I got together, I was with Lexi. Until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then, she was gone. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away. And Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune. And Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? To try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. So, I guess not so much of a love triangle as it's like, I mean, a love triangle, but basically it's an arranged marriage, basically, in a way. It was just basically being forced on them. So, things would really work out for you if Jessalyn just disappeared. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to ask me that? <laughs> I should say, yes, I did. Or yes, I do. I did. Oh my gosh. Besides, she already did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just really want to figure out where she is. Trust me. So do I. Why is Lexi so important? I've always felt a little... out of step with the world. When I met Lexi, it's like everything snapped into place. I don't know how else to put it. And it wasn't the same with Jessalyn? I do love her. But not in the way I tried to. Jess is my best friend, and always will be. If she ever comes home, and if she ever forgives me. You don't think Jessalyn's coming back, do you? What are you implying? Nothing. Just observing. You want to know the truth so bad? Yeah, I'm afraid she's never coming back. Happy? Sorry. I better copy this design. First of its kind across the bottom. All right, so let's this check looks out. like the picture from the camera.
We found the ruins. That wasn't just my imagination. There's something down there. Hmm. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. Ah. Ooh, skeleton. Got it. This might be the uh, key to the crypt. Yeah, sometimes in these uh, Nancy Drew games, there'll be like photos and stuff of like the craters and then their family as well. I kind of like to see this as their uh, whoever's you know daughter this was or is that they're using her photo as like Charlotte. I'm like. I think I think she looks like a Charlotte too. Film real. Alright. I think that is it. Let's take a look at the film reel. And there's an old projector here. Why would you play that? Turn it off now! I'm uh -oh. sorry. I didn't mean to upset you with the movie. I know, but... Just give me a minute. Seeing that just... Well, it, it made my head hurt worse. I keep seeing it when I close my eyes. So that was obviously Charlotte's 21st birthday, the night she died. But it was revealing something else. Don't think I'm going to be able to fix that. Okay, it's haunted to you. Okay. <laughs> well. I want to talk to Clara, but let's give her some time. Um, the object it was showing in the film, though, is in here. Hello. How's it going? Just looking around. Don't want any trouble. Passed out. If I can stack enough things together, maybe I could climb up to that wallpaper. Always hated doing this part. Yeah, that's not sturdy.
All right, I'm going to try to figure this out, and then I will see you guys in a moment. Alright, I may have may I may or may not have figured it out. I mean technically that is not starting in real life, but we'll see. This must be about that star sketch. I should copy the image down. Uh oh, move out of the way. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, it was. Two handles pull out the box to which the star belongs. From the middle it shines. Rising above them all. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and check out check out the crypt. Now, stop moving your head. You're not scaring anyone. I'm not scared. It worked. Hi, Harper. How's it going? You're not mad, are you? You. I guess she is. You said I could trust you. You said. I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. I trust you. You do. Then don't tell anyone where I am. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. I don't have your best interests at heart. Hey guys, she's in here. Sorry, I can't help myself. Just ask my siblings. I'm a ta I was a tattletale when I was a kid. My sister right now, I, I can hear her like shaking her head yes. In agreement. <laughs> anyway. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? At this point, yes. You do? Well then, gotta fly! Ah, rats. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have said no. Hmm. <gasps> Violent outburst? Aw, oh, man, do I have to read this whole thing? Alright, here it goes. The cost of fire. Okay, yeah, it looks like this might be about Charlotte, maybe. A dreary cloud descended over Main Street yesterday afternoon as services for Charlotte Thornton brought the downtown area to a complete standstill. A large group of mourners braved the pouring rain for a chance to pay their final respects to Miss Thornton before the private interment on the Thornton family's island estate. A beloved and charismatic member of the influential Thornton clan, Charlotte was fatally injured during a fire on the Thornton estate. Since news of her death, outpourings of grief have been seen throughout town, but none were as spectacle as what occurred during Charlotte's funeral service. Harper Thornton, sister to the deceased, was carried out of the service by local police following a violent outburst. Witnesses allege Harper Thornton grew agitated during the services, causing thousands of dollars of damage and a few minor injuries. No witnesses are willing to comment to record, and Harper was later released without charges to the care of her family. It's understandable, but unfortunate, said Chatham County Police Representative Ellison May. The young woman seemed concerned that justice hadn't been served in the case of her sister, and we do not understand how upsetting that can be. Despite Miss Thornton's assertions, uh, there is currently no evidence that what transpired that fateful night was anything more than an accident. We found no compelling evidence that would warrant further investigation. May continued, if that ever changes, we will of course investigate. And it looks like there's something over here too that talks about the Thornton family. So if you want to read this part right here, go ahead. All 
All right, so she had a picture of a casket. So this one's the star one. What did the star one say again? Hold on, let me look at the journal. Two handles pull out the box to which the star belongs. From the middle it shines, rising above them all. Well, this is... Well, let me see if this is right. But it does say pull out the star, like it doesn't belong here. I really don't remember. Mm. Yeah, it's not gonna fit there at all. I mean, obviously that's the square shape. Or a triangle shape. This is not a triangle. So it obviously doesn't go there. So it mentioned something about the middle. It says shh, rising above them all. The middle is not of all of them, so maybe it's like the middle, one of these two middle ones up top. Hmm. Oops, I don't remember which one I just... Uh. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind if I grab that. I'll lock it. I should hold on to this. All right, we did also find another one. What did that one say? All right, first of its kind across the bottom. Okay, so I'm guessing first in the bottom, um, but there's nothing. There, there's a bird one, but we gotta find the drawing for that. Is the snake one somewhere else, possibly? Or do we have to find the one for the snake? Alright, looks like we have to find the one for the snake. Uh, what's this over here? That looks okay, important. This Ooh! This is the bird one. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Okay. So... Numbers, random numbers. All right, so we still gotta find the snake one. 
If I can match the colors on the sides of each piece, I should be able to get this back in order. All right, this must be the window Jesslyn mentioned in those recordings. Beauregard. Hmm. Bold regard. Okay, so... Bold regard. Remember in the first episode, bold regard, mean, mean old codger. Those colors along the bottom must be why Beauregard's tombstone is important. Okay, so in the first episode, I had found these. Or first episode, second episode. I found these, but okay, I guess don't put them here anywhere. So I'm not sure what they're for yet, but at least we know to come here to make sure... What color? I'm guessing this is the color order that they need to be in. And then we needed to put... There was something... This mentioned about putting a flower somewhere. And here's some flowers here. You put a flower right here. And now we wait. Yo, how's it uh, going? You scared me. Yeah, I get that a lot. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't need belief. Why not? I have proof. E. V. P. Here's some creepy things from time to time. Check it out whenever you want. If you got the nerve. What made you call Savannah? Jessalyn didn't run away. And she wasn't kidnapped. I saw the ghost. You did? You don't look near as bad as most who see her. I'm not scared of ghosts. She terrifies everybody. Savannah seemed to think you'd be disappointed she didn't come here. Any reason why? Savannah's talking to you about me? Yeah, she's helping me with the case. Don't suppose you could give me your number? Should I hand out her number to him? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna make her mad. But sure, it's 404-555-4478. <laughs> Just so you know, she's going to be mad at you for giving me this number. She'll get over it. Why? What are you going to do? Do? Nothing. Back long time ago, we, um... She and I were something of a couple. Long time ago. Been a long time since we talked. I think you're just trying to scare me away. Girl? Nancy. Girl. Fear ain't some feeling to overcome, especially not here. That prickly feeling you get in that old house, that means something dark is whispering your name. Something dark? Trust me, that's as close as you want to get. Is it Harper? <laughs> I'd better get going. Adios. Adios? Okay. All right. Haven't can't check can't ch did check did that did that did that did check haven't done that check did that that's that's d check check still ha haven't haven't done that check that's check check can't check did that oh forgot to look over here the numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly so I've never been good at stuff like this um. I'll go ahead and try for a little bit, but I'm probably going to end up using 
the cheat and just looking at it. Let me look at... No, I don't know if they... Hold on, let me step away and see if that... No. There we go. Okay, now it popped up. Okay, start with the... Comp understand. Four, four. So, this whole row? Let me get another hint. Okay, that doesn't help me necessarily. understand this puzzle if you do good for you but I'm using a hint <laughs> yeah so that's the bottom right I got that correct And now the full puzzle. one hold on oh I'm not even good with the hint huh <laughs> uh, oh. that this one was one what am I missing? It's not quite right. I know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Don't worry. There we go. There's the snake. And what's this? Hello. Mom. 1867. Right. Alright. Let's go deal with the snake. What was that? All right, what did the snake one say again? 
first of its kind across the bottom. Okay, so, oops, wrong thing. So this right here has to be it. First of its kind across the bottom. key should work okay question is is this the key to charlotte's room or is this the key to that box that is the question let's oh hi charlotte whoa what the heck no don't play with me don't play with me We're good. We're good. Nope. I'm going home. Bye, everyone. I, I, I've decided I'm going to take a next flight out. I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. She is in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. Yeah, she does. We're not going in there. I'd rather uh, deal with the ghost. Aha! This looks like the one in the ruins. I bet the numbers from the coffin will work. <laughs> I hate this puzzle. That's done. Yes, I am using the cheat again. Wait a minute. Hold on. Or is it the other way around? Okay, let me at least try to see if I can understand where the colors are at. Yeah, I got that. But there's two blue. Oh no, there's more than two. All right, I couldn't do it. I'm just, yeah. I think I'm starting to get there where I'm kind of getting it figured out, but it's still getting, like, very confusing for me. Got it! Alrighty. So, as you saw, I did cheat. <laughs> and are you guys ready to go into Charlotte's room? Oh boy, it's so scary. Ah! Anyway. This 
So this has to do with a puzzle. If you want to read it, go ahead and read it. I'm not... I'm even worse at trying to read, like, cursive. Looks like something is missing. Aha! I got it right here. I bet I can trace a path from the top left corner to the top right corner. All right. Um, what were the colors again? All right. I'm going to go back, look at the colors, and then we will be back here. Okay, is she ever going to stop singing? Like, I, I just got back to go back upstairs to check and I get another song. We are secrets, we are lies. Through the walls, fix your eyes. Up the tunnels you must seek. The hidden ways he does sneak. Make haste, doom girl. Do not delay. Something, something, something. Or he'll get away. Oh dear. Hello. What? Yes, me. What? Get away. All right. All right, so there was something mentioned about tunnel? I mean, there was a tunnel down here. Hey, Harper. Oh, look. It's little old you. Where's the cavalry? Why are you still hiding? What's to stop me from telling everyone where you are? Maybe I'm the only one who can help find Jessalyn. Did you ever think of that? All right, I won't tell. Can you tell me more about Charlotte? If I didn't love her so much, I would hate her beyond the great beyond. Why? Golden child, Charlotte. She was perfect in everyone's eyes, even mine. I wanted to be her when I grew up. But then one day I was older than my older sister, and older still today. You're dressing up as Charlotte or doing something to fake these hauntings, aren't you? <laughs> the hits keep coming. <gasps> you're a doll, a real peach. Ew! Oh, you're not kidding, are you? Am I dressing up as my dead sister for kicks? After the only family member everyone can agree on has gone missing? Is that what you're asking? Yes, that's the question. The implication was more or less added by you. No, I am not, so shut it! I keep asking wrong questions, don't I? Alright, well, she mentioned tunnel. So, is there something here? What was that? Sounds like someone's out there. I should take a look. Charlotte, darling, you're gonna have to help me out here. What? What's he up to? And it sounded like he dropped something. <gasps> Ooh, is this the key for that box? And yeah, what is he up to? Alright, I'm going to end the video here for today. If you enjoyed this video, give this vi video one big thumbs up. If you want to see more of this... And we will find out more about uh, this family, see if we can find Jessalyn, and find out more about Charlotte as well, and these ghostly happenings that are happening. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to Mandergander, and I encourage you to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!